Hey guys, so I'm going to do a really quick video because we're getting ready to get out of here and I know my husband's going to be like getting up and coming in here and then, you know, he's in the video and he doesn't like it. So um, I want to update you on kind of our minimalist, um, I don't know, what do you want to call it? Our downsizing, frugal living. There we go. Oh, look, look, I'm red because I just went walking and I have a hard time changing temperatures so like it's hot outside and very humid and so when I got done walking I took my shower and I came back in here like I'm still red so anyway uh, we finally made the switch away from water bottles yay the plastic water bottles are no longer um, if you see any in the video they've been refilled so we ended up getting a Berkey water system and um, we went with the travel size so that we can use it when we do our tiny house and I'm glad we did because I think anything bigger um, would have just been too big. So here it is in all of its glory. And I'm not sure how well the light's gonna work on this. Well, it's gonna work at not at all. So that's helpful. All right, I will just hold it for you. Okay. <laughs> so here it is. It's like, okay, if I sit it on my waist, right here on my hip bone, it is this tall. So I don't know, a baby. <laughs> It's my baby, oh the baby. <laughs> um, it holds a gallon and a half of water. And um, the only thing that I guess um, I would say to buy, and I we didn't get it because of the reviews, but um, the spigot that shows the amount of water in the bottom would be extremely helpful because you actually can overfill these and it'll spill over. So you just kind of got to do a rough guesstimate. So I'm going to go sit on the couch. Um, so other than that, um, I guess I really, I really like it. Um, it was, oh, like close to 250-ish. They gave free shipping and they give you a free glass water bottle. Um, or you can get stainless steel drinking cups, but I wanted the water bottle. This holds um, just a little bit over a standard, um, I guess, regular plastic water bottle that you would buy like bottled water in. So this holds just a little bit more than that. And then um, I drink three of those water bottles usually a day. So what I did was I went to Walmart and I got this from Tal. And this holds two of these. <laughs> and um, it keeps it cold for 24 hours so when I go grocery shopping this is usually gone because I drink this right away because obviously this isn't going to stay cold and then this goes in my car so when I go grocery shopping or I need to travel in my hot hot car because I don't have AC and if it sits outside I can actually leave this sit outside it's stainless steel inside with a plastic top um, and it works really well so that's kind of our new thing. Um, I was like a super saver because <laughs> we're trying to get out of debt and actually by buying the travel size um, with the two black filters that come in with it for free and they filter out like everything. If you want to know, like go on to Berkey Water Systems and, and look at what those black filters filter. The only thing that I would need to get in addition would be for fluoride and we don't have fluoride out here. And I figure we're not going to be traveling for a while, so we'll wait on those filters. But I wanted to get that because our water, our water, plastic water bottle consumption was three hundred and fifty dollars a year, and so this, um, like two fifty. I mean, we've already saved money for the first year, and then the second year, like we're going to be saving three hundred fifty dollars every year by using this system instead. So what I did was I repurposed a Brita water filter. Um, container like the the gallon jug or half gallon jug and we fill that and keep it in the fridge and then we also keep that full so um, we have a well so we just use well water um, if you have a salt water system like it obviously won't filter out the salt because it's already in your water so yeah <laughs> it tastes pretty gross if it has salt in it I, I just can't deal with the salt but um, this is the best tasting water like that I've ever had, even through bottled water. Like it's just, it filters out everything, all these pesticides and stuff. And we live in the corn belt. So everybody, like I just was walking the other day. I walk about two miles every day and I saw a crop duster dusting the fields already. I'm like, seriously, 
at least it wasn't a windy day because half the time that stuff drifts over on our stuff. So I wanted to let you know too that I have been super crappy on my eating the last few days. Um, I got down to 159.9, which meant I only had a 10 pound goal. And now I have like about five pounds of inflammation because I had cheese and uh, lots of dairy products the last couple days. So that's out today. So today for breakfast, because you're on here and I won't tell you what I'm having for the rest of the day, but kohlrabi, three little kohlrabis. Um, if you've never had kohlrabi, it tastes kind of like a very, very mild radish with a hint of sweet. And then my smoothie this morning, and it looks a little greener on here than it actually is, but it is four small peaches, a small one of those little yellow mangoes, not a normal mango, and then um, two bananas and about, about two cups of spinach. And it tastes really good. It tastes kind of like baby food. It's like banana puree baby food. But it's super good. Oh, and a tablespoon of flax meal. Yeah. So that's what I'm eating for breakfast. I'm going to salad it up for probably lunch. We're going over to my mom's. And they don't eat healthy at all. And we'll probably have meat products. So I'm not going to eat that. I'm just going to... Make a big salad, probably my strawberry salad, which I love. Oh my gosh. So if you haven't made the strawberry salad, I don't really like fruits and vegetables together in a meal, except for this, this salad. So what I do is I take a pound of strawberries. I take half of them and I cut them up. I take the other half and I puree it with a, um, a jewel date. And then um, I take um, my Aldi's spring mix greens. And I take like two, like, I don't know, as much as I'm going to eat. So like two hand, huge handfuls. I put in a cucumber. I put in some sugar snap peas. Um, I put in a zucchini. And I put in some sprouted mung beans. And I throw in the strawberries. And I mix it all up. I, you can add in carrots too. But you want stuff that doesn't really taste really strong. And then... You take the, the strawberries and the date you pureed and you just pour it over everything. And it's so delicious. So delicious. So that's what I'm kind of into. Right now I'm just like strawberry mangoes, man. Like, I don't know. I got to have strawberries and mangoes. And I'll always be into bananas. So, yeah. Okay, well, thanks for watching. And think about getting a Berkey system. I was going to save you money. Plus, it filters out pesticides and everything. Like, it's, the list is just unreal. And they make little ones where you can actually buy a water bottle like this um, that has, like, a filter in the water bottle so that you can, and see what's really, you can buy, you can get, like, pond water and throw it in here. And you can put in red food coloring, and it will take the red food coloring out. Like, it is just, it's amazing. But anyway, I'm not affiliated with them, but they're awesome. So thanks for watching and I hope you have an awesome day.